Raise your hand if you've ever fallen down in the river. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome to the latest episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today we're gonna to talk about wading and how to wade safely. We're gonna to try to stay dry. I didn't even bring a fish pole today. I'm not gonna fish. I just wanted to come yell at you guys for a little bit. So I mentioned safety. Yes, this is another safety video, but it's more than that too. The whole point of this video is to make sure you stay upright and stay dry. Unplanned swims can ruin your day or worse. These rivers are rocky, slippery, the water's powerful. You don't wanna fall down. Wading rivers can be dangerous, but you can also minimize the risk. I rarely go in up to my waist. I minimize the amount of wading that I have to do. I'd rather not get in the water at all if I can avoid it. I don't like getting wet. Okay, so let's start. When you are walking in the river, you want to make sure you put your toe down first before your heel. That's going to help you feel your way through the rocks so you can find solid footing. Toe first, then heel. Also, don't pick up one foot unless the other foot is firmly planted. It seems like common sense, but it doesn't work out that way. A pair of good sturdy wading boots helps a lot. You want stiffness in the ankle. Felt sole might be good, but they're so outdated now. Rubber soles are the way to go. If you want, you can get cleats or bars to put on your soles to help with traction, but you're not coming to my boat with those boots. Cleats really do help a lot on wet rocks, not so fun on dry rocks. Use your eyeballs. Watch where you're going. Look where you're stepping. Try to find the easiest route to get where you want to be. Move slowly. There's no rush. You don't want to spill your beer. Walking between boulders is better than stepping on top of them. Less risky. Shallow water is going to be easier to walk through. Duh. If it's shallow, lift your feet out of the water with each step. It's easier than dragging them through the water. Don't underestimate the power of the river. I've seen plenty of people eat it in four inches of water. Oh, I've definitely never done that. In fast water, you want to take a downstream angle to wherever you're headed. Start upstream from where you want to be and let the river push you down as you go across. Don't fight it. It's much easier that way. You can use the eddy behind midstream boulders for a little break. You want to walk with your feet parallel to the current in line with the current, not perpendicular or sideways to the current. You'll have less drag on you that way and it'll be easier to cross. It's hydrodynamic. You should know what drag is because you're a huge fly fisherman. In really heavy water that you can't cross by yourself, you can use a buddy. Work together. Put your arms around each other's back. Hold each other by your backpacks or your wader straps. You want to put the bigger, stronger person on the upstream side so they can take the brunt of the current. Up water? Remember, we're calling it up water now. Right, up water. This buddy system actually works really well. And if you're a guide, this is how you get your clients where you want them to be. Because you know they can't walk. Consider using a wading staff. A wading staff is just a walking stick. But fly fishermen are fancy and they need special terms. There's no shame in using a wading staff. An old ski pole works really well. Just remember to remove the basket so it doesn't get caught between rocks. That's not fun. It's also good for threatening people and holding down your spot or poking people that are fishing reds. If you're carrying important items like a fly rod or a beer, always carry them in your downstream hand. Because if you do fall, your feet are going to get swept out from under you and you're going to fall upstream. Your upstream hand is going to go in the water to catch yourself. That's how it works. Don't ask me how I know that. Keep your valuables on the downstream side. That's an important one. Don't overestimate your wading abilities. You're a fisherman. You're not a long rod athlete. If you're nervous about crossing somewhere, don't do it. Yeah, maybe you can wade to that spot way over there, but is it worth it? Not for me. I have nothing to prove. Everybody knows I'm huge anyway. If you have waders on, you should always wear a wading belt with those waders. So if you do go for an unplanned swim, it helps keep the water out of your waders. Okay, this video has to end sometime, and now seems like a perfectly fine time. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. I want you to take that knowledge out on the water and stay up right and stay dry. Thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Stop by hugeflyfisherman.com for some logo apparel. And I know I don't need to remind you, stay huge. Kind of wish I brought a fish pole.